here's what a map model is. So I'll use my hands to talk here. Mm-hmm. So if you think about a cube, and I put my two matrices that I'm multiplying on two faces of the cube, mm-hmm. right? You can think about the matrix multiply as, okay, the n cubed, I'm going to multiply for each one in the cubed. And then I'm going to do a sum, which is a reduce up to here to the third face of the cube. And that's your multiplied matrix. So what a matrix multiply is, is a bunch of shape operations, right? A bunch of permutes, reshapes, and expands on the two matrices. A multiply, n cubed. A reduce, n cubed, which gives you an n squared matrix. Okay, so what what is the minimum number of operations that can accomplish that if you don't have uh, matmol as a primitive? So TinyGrad has about 20. Um, And you can compare TinyGrad's uh, OPSET or IR to things like XLA or PrimTorch. So XLA and PrimTorch are ideas where like, okay, Torch has like 2,000 different kernels. Mm -hmm. Um, PyTorch 2.0 introduced PrimTorch, which has only 250. Uh, TinyGrad has order of magnitude 25. It's it's 10x less than XLA or PrimTorch. And you can think about it as kind of like risk versus CISC, right? These other things are CISC like systems. Uh TinyGrad is risk. And risk one. Risk architecture is gonna change everything. Okay. 1995, hackers. <laughs> Wait, really? That's an actual thing? Angelina Jolie delivers the line. Risk architecture is gonna change everything in 1995. Wow. And here we are with ARM in the phones. And arm everywhere. Wow. I love it when movies actually have real things in them. Right? 